Hello guys, come Blood Reaction of his SFM video called The Power Ponies versus Queen Chrysalis. Just 2 minutes and 50 seconds long. Oh, yes. This sounds like an impossible task because knowing Queen Chrysalis, she can shape shift into other creatures, other ponies, or any creature basically, as long as that is living and not an, an, an object like this. How is the Power Ponies going to fare with Queen Chrysalis? Let's find out. Let's get this reaction started in 3, and 2, and 1, go! The City of Ponyville. Pony oh! He's under, under attack! The Changelings! You're destroying the, 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 the place now. Hello Chrysalis! A horn glows green. More destructive mayhem. Oh, don't kill me! And Mermaid's gonna call them out, isn't it? Oh, seriously! Meh, meh, meh. Emergency, emergency, emergency. Hello? Hello, <laughs> Okay! You gone to the parallel universe? How did Chris and... How Queen Chris has got there in the first place? Ah! Uh, get her! Get them! Pathetic! Laser eyes! There's one way to kill them! Ooh! That must have hurt! That must have hurt her! Oh! Don't change into Apple Bloom. Who did that? Sweetbell! Why not Sweetbell? You pay! I got the upper hoof! Who is this? The chaselings? I mean, the. the sirens? Oh no, do something! Sweet! Oh. Gosh, the Scooter is powerful! And that's the end of Queen Chrysalis, and she's dead. But is it the end? Oh! Oh, nice neck click there. Oh, she's had enough. She's going in for a fight. This is Harry Potter battle! <laughs> no, left, right, left, right, left, right. <laughs> the Harry Potter battle. Got a bit of fire. The magic of friendship. And, <laughs> and so, once again, the day is, is saved, saved. Thanks to the Cutie Mark Crusaders. Crusaders. Yay! Okay, that was the Powerpuff Ponies versus Queen Chrysalis. And what can I say? It's actually that was actually quite good. Actually, I actually quite enjoyed that. Uh, I didn't expect the the Harry Potter type battle at the end. Scootaloo was quite powerful. Seriously, she was actually quite powerful. I'm like, wow, she's strong. She say Sweetie Bell. Is that a shipping term, Scooty Bell, or is that Thomas's outtake? <laughs> Uh, one of the two, or both. <laughs> oh dear. I think Sparrow made that same outtake before. Scooty Belt, and yeah. If you've seen my outtake videos, you understand the reference. 
Well, the changelings didn't really have a, much of a fight or chance, really, because the cutie mark crusaders were quite powerful for them. And one changeling can bend into a building, and chrysalis can bend, not bend, but break, um, break, um, buildings. Why you could, why couldn't you just, why couldn't the changeling just, and crew chrysalis, chained into another pony? As, you know, like, as a, uh, like a distraction sort of thing. Then, then, and the equipment of Crusaders were like, eh, uh, which one's who? And is there an Apple Bloom or Skidloo will like, hmm, that's dodgy. But then again, you might need voice actors to notice something off, unless you can see the eyes, which is sometimes the eyes give it away sometimes, or sometimes a magical aura as well. That's what Queen Chris is. When you saw Queen Chris was made to look like uh, Cadence, and but she was glowing green magic, and, uh, and I thought I thought that would be cause of red flags. Like she's got green magic, isn't that a bit? But surely, why did Shining Arbor didn't spe- spot that? Or is the aura or magical aura is for our benefit, so we know they're using magic. Sort of a, it's like, can you see? Is you know, like a magical aura? Is it is it naturally invisible to the naked eye, or can does it actually you see the magical aura? You can then you can tell that that person's doing magic. But surely you don't need a magical aura to do magic. I'm thinking too much Harry Potter, now, aren't I? You don't need a magical aura as such, do you? Well, the, yeah, that's cartoons for you. Yes. Well. Hope you like this reaction and all my reaction videos I do, and I'll see you next time. Oh, yes. And I'll fly, and I'll fly.